Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. Now I know you guys probably already watched this, but if you have not already done so, uh you can go ahead and watch the first two and a half minutes of this video. But feel free to skip ahead if you have already watched the new version preview. That was the golden age of Milo. A peaceful life we would cherish now seemed tiresome before. And at that time, Milo had the best and most honorable marshal around. Until that day, when the dormant miracle awakened. This is the true face of the withering miracle? At this rate, the whole of Milo will be buried in quicksand forever! What you did is illegal. You're breaking the law. This choice must be very painful. Because... The very ideals of justice you once held dear will be crushed underfoot. If no one is willing to make this decision, then I will. I will judge all the injustices this world. Bringing light to this darkness is my purpose! Mm. Quality meat and fresh vegetables! Just delicious! <laughs> Taste this on for size! Wait, that was like 100% uh, Kung Fu Panda, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, come on, let's be real. Okay, so let's quickly go through everything in this version preview and some of the things that you might have missed as well. Uh, starting, of course, with the new daddy, right? People are calling him daddy. His name is Javid. My name is David. His name is Shamash. I like to smash. Feels pretty sus. Is he supposed to be me? All right, that's kind of cringe. Okay, anyway, five star Inferno Fighter and... I will judge and we also have another 5 star Inferno Fighter here. So, <laughs> let's make a bet. How valuable do you think these experts are gonna be for the- <coughs> oh, How valuable do you think these experts are gonna be for the current Celestial Anomaly second phase? Okay, but we don't know too much about these new experts, but uh, what I can say is that uh, they're probably gonna be very, very important, and we can also discuss a little bit more about what I would expect the Soaring Goat to be more about. But before that, let's take a look at the rest of the other new content, right? So, uh, yeah, she's gonna be the second Inferno Legendary Esper that we have. So are we gonna have three new banners for this update? Because there's probably gonna be a third recurring banner, right? Maybe Embla is coming back, who knows? If she's coming back, oh my god, big PP. Now we have the same typical event that is happening here. It's very similar to whatever that we have. So we can also get uh, some of these boxes, which I have actually saved up until now. I haven't actually used them just yet. Uh, just to see how many I can collect because I'm a, I'm a meso kid like that. And there is something new called the scratch off. Okay, so what I can understand about this is the first thing that you scratch is probably going to be the item. And the next two things that you're going to scratch are going to be like the multiplier. So there is a five here, there is a five here. Uh, five times five, that would be 25. As you can see over there, oh my god, that was so quick. As you can see right there on the screen, right? 25 pieces were obtained. Now, next thing, we have something called the Chaos Realm. Now, I'm not super sure how this is supposed to play out. Is this going to be an event or is this going to be a permanent content? We will only know tomorrow. But from the way it looks like, I think it might actually just be an event because it's 
something that unlocks uh, over a period of time. I think, I think, I'm not, I'm not super sure actually. But this is going to be another way for us to get just, you know, free stuff, free rewards with a little bit of extra content sprinkled into the game right now because a lot of you guys are complaining that there's nothing to do. So this is what it looks like and the items that we can obtain are Nexus Crystals, Gold, Infernal Records, more Nexus Crystals, Wind Records, and a bunch of Billy Mons as well. Now because of the Wind Record, I'm not super sure whether this is going to be a, an event after all. So now that I'm taking a look at this one more time, I feel like this might actually be a permanent content uh, moving on into the future. And now for everyone's favorite content, the Withering Flame second phase. Now I think the scoring is actually separated. So as you can see at the bottom here, the first is going to be the Raging Lion, the second is going to be the Soaring Goat. So I think they will have their own separate scoreboards because right now we can clearly see that there is no score achieved for this current rotation or maybe it actually resets, I'm not super sure. But for the mere fact that we can actually select the Soaring Goat, aside from it just being one entire fight itself, uh, makes me feel that we will need to get at least 50 million in each of these different phases or th each of these different bosses at least. So yeah, not good news for most of you guys. So the way that it works is that we can set two different teams, one for each of these bosses. And the way that this works is uh, rather interesting. But before that, let's take a look at some of the aspects that we can use over here. So uh, number one, Javid. He's an attack lead, but because he only provides a 30% attack lead, it is safe to say that he is a universal attack leader and he's probably not going to be the best leader for the Soaring Goat, I would think. And next for Ginny, she also has an attack lead, which is not available here, which makes me feel like she has probably a 40% attack lead in some content. I'm not super sure where just yet. I think it's possible that she has a 40% attack lead in the Scorching Miracle. So that's probably where her niche is, similar to where Yamato's niche is in the Wither Miracle, or rather the, the Wither Messenger, right? Oh, my bad. Not the Scorch Messenger, but the Void Messenger. And of course, you'll be using Espers like Embla, which means AoE is probably going to be quite important. But if that's the case, this is going to be Yuntran R2 all over again. So as you can see here, this is a Soaring Goat. There are four other ads next to the Soaring Goat. So it's definitely going to be more AoE-centric, and some Espers are probably not going to be good here. So Louis is probably not going to be useful here because he needs to kill the target for him to AoE. Liling might be useful if you can absorb the AP of these ads, but... Uh, not much is known about them. But what I really like to see is that you can actually swap the bosses around within the same fight. Something like this. So all your fights are running in tandem, which is very cool. So this is obviously a testing phase and a gateway to the shit mother, I would think. Because when you have uh, two other companions beside you, you might want to shift your screen around just to look at your companions' teams and how they are faring right now. So we can kind of assume that this is their objective, uh, at least for now. Alright, so that's it for the sense of guilt. There's not much mentioned over here, but I can more or less guarantee you that the two new experts are going to be super important for this particular event. And I'm not sure whether Genie will have her own banner. She actually might not have her own banner, similar to Elliot, for example, right? Maybe. She might be free like Yamato, who knows? And if that's the case, it's going to be hell in order for you to obtain her, but uh, I hope that's not going to be the case. And I do hope that they kind of revisit some of the issues that the players have faced within uh, this current patch 3.2.3 and I've also vocalized my issues and I've already brought these issues to them as well. So the ball is entirely in their court and I do hope that they take the next week or so just to rework some of the requirements and to just tweak things up a little bit so that it's a little bit easier for players to at least, right, the very least to get EX++ because everything else is just like leaderboard content so that's like pay to win stuff. I mean at least for now it is extremely pay to win. If you don't have champagne you have like Unas, uh, yeah, you're not going to be like top 10, for example. You're not even going to be top 100. Okay, but anyway, that's it for the preview video, Sense of Guilt. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you excited or not? He is absolutely going to be my new pro topic. That's like for sure, 100%. I'm going to revamp my entire YouTube channel just because of him right now. Okay, but with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.